Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I'm a reader and a writer. And today I am back to do my book review for A Space Girl from Earth by Christina McMullen. This is a YA new adult science fiction space opera adventure with a little bit of romance. Yeah, so we primarily follow Ellie's POV. I think there are a couple chapters from Julian, who is the love interest. But it's this is Ellie's story. And this is Ellie's story of finding out that while she ha was born and raised on Earth, she is not actually human. She is another race entirely, and the skin condition that she thought she had, the dots on her skin actually denote that she is in charge of a repository of information, which she doesn't have access to until she reaches a certain age. So this is the first in a trilogy, I believe, where Ellie finds out the truth about her heritage and realizes that she has a greater role to play in the universe. You know what? My fumbling here. I think the back is actually a better synopsis. So if you want to go ahead and freeze it, you can. Okay. So, jumping into my thoughts. For the first part of the contest where we were reading the first 10 to 20 percent, I read past 20 percent. So this definitely caught my attention. It's really well written and definitely something I think a lot of people can connect to. I think this is a great sci-fi, especially for anybody who was predominantly reading young adult and is wanting to venture into adult. I think this book straddles the line between both age categories in a really good way because we have a character who is becoming an adult herself. She's figuring it out. I mean, she's lived on her own for a while, so she knows some things and then learning all this new information, she's having to make decisions based off of what she knows and the information people are telling her. That is basically the essence of being an adult and learning to be an adult. So. I think this is a great gateway into adult sci-fi with a compelling main character that makes you want to root for her and you you want her to be victorious. I'll just say that. I wanted her to be victorious. So a con for me was the pacing of this book. So like I said, it caught my attention and drew me in, but then as we kept going along, it moved faster than I was wanting it to, if that makes sense. So this is maybe just something that's just me. Um, so it is a fast paced book, but I wanted, I guess, more reflection time and then more conversations about the larger universe that Ellie was being introduced to. And we really are only given small snippets of things, which, like I said, it being a crossover book, would, it, that's one of the things that you get a lot from, I think the YA age category is you get lots of faster, you don't do a lot of introspection, and as an adult sci-fi reader, I want a little bit more of that introspection. Again, I'm okay with a chunkier book for my sci-fi. A pro for this is Ellie very much is who she is. It's not like, oh, hey, guess what? You're a princess over in this other planet. And she's like, great, I want to do everything that they want me to do. She, no, she's like, I have my own ethics and I have my own morals and I don't agree with these things that you are over here saying that I, I am having to accept. So I love that she's very true to herself. She's a character who knows her own convictions and knows where she stands. She's a character that you you can root for. I, I love characters where you actually are, can root for the main character because they are just good. Doesn't mean they're perfect as a human being or an intelligence, but 
their motivations in life is to serve people and to make the world a better place. I like those characters. So a con for me was you don't get a lot of development in the side characters. They kind of come on stage as they're needed and then go away as they are not. Now I will say that because there aren't a lot of characters introduced that every character ends up being important to the plot. Or that's another con for me is at the beginning we get a lot more character like Ellie's character is driving the story as this plot is happening to her and then at the end of the book as we're going towards the book's finale we get more of it here's the plot because we need this to happen to get her to the next spot. Uh, another con I questioned the logic of some of the side character decisions for example, the emperor bad guy, just some of the decisions he makes, I'm, I'm really, I'm like, why is he the one in charge? And it does like address that. Like Ellie is also going, wait, this, this guy is in charge and he's emperor. How is that happening? And they do bring that up of everything there. But it wasn't, the answer for it was not satisfying to me. I felt like it kind of went farther afield. I, I get what the author was trying to do was to open up the world and to be like, okay, you know, we have to go to the next book. So here's your setup for what's going on. But for me, it just wasn't compelling. I ended up being just neutral on this book. There are many things I like. And this is definitely a book I would give to a beginner in science fiction. Or especially, I would give this to my 13-year-old daughter. I think that she would like it. So this isn't a bad book. Just with my experience with reading science fiction, it didn't live up to all the promises that it gave me at the beginning which made me want to keep reading. So I ended up more neutral on it. This did end up being one of our semi-finalists. And so I'm curious to see how other groups are gonna feel.